Hello, welcome to this video. I'm Lindsay from Lindsay Elliott Coaching and creator of Break Up With Anxiety one-to-one -one coaching programme. And I'm here today to talk about how thoughts and feelings, what if they're not personal or as meaningful about who we are as we may have thought about them being. So what I noticed in myself, in my own experience, and also I see with lots of people around me and with my clients, is that when certain feelings show up, we innocently pay them lots of attention and we believe them to mean something about who we are as a person, how we're doing in life, and that they have some kind of um, like meaning about who we are. And what I'm going to propose in this video is what if that isn't true? Because in believing that um, any feeling that shows up is personal to us and means something about us and how we're doing and how we're getting on in life and what type of person we are, if we believe all of that to be true, then inevitably, when some of the more negative stuff shows up or difficult stuff shows up, inevitably, we end up suffering in that. So, for example, if we feel anxious or if we feel worried about something or if we feel angry about something, if that's an emotion that we aren't comfortable with and we believe means something about us, then we're going to be pretty resistant to feeling it and pretty and, and kind of pushing it away. So I'm going to use a metaphor to illustrate what I'm hoping to point to, that what if thoughts and feelings aren't actually personal and we don't have to pay them as much attention as we think we do. So I want you to imagine that you are traveling on a bus and when you're on your bus journey, you're just sitting nice and comfortably on the bus. And what happens on the journey is that the bus stops at the bus stop periodically and some people get off of the bus and other people get on the bus. And then on you go on your journey and again, bus stops at the bus stop. Some people get on your bus, other people get off of your bus. Now, when someone gets on the bus that we may not be that comfortable with, or we think we're not going to be comfortable with. So it might be that they get on the bus and they might look a bit like they're slightly crazy, maybe talking to themselves a bit. You're a bit slightly concerned about whether they're going to come and sit down next to you and start really rabbiting in your ear. Or you might, someone might get on who looks a little bit threatening for whatever reason. You might be a bit concerned if they come and sit near you. Or so a group of rowdy teenagers might get on sorry not wishing to be mean about teenagers just rowdy people might get on and you might feel a bit worried about what's going to happen is there going to be a fight on the bus so we might have a preference of who gets on and who gets off of the bus and if we're feeling in the mood for a chat we might like it if someone comes and sits down next to us who looks quite friendly and opens up a conversation if we're feeling like we just want to look out the window then we're not going to be very happy if that chatty person sits down next to us so we've all got preferences for who gets on and off of the bus. But when we're on our bus journey, who gets on and off of the bus? We don't make it mean anything about us. We don't say, oh, why did that angry, shouty person get on the bus? Why did, why did they get on my bus? Why didn't they get on the bus behind? Or if someone who gets on the bus and is looking like they might be wanting to start a fight, or if they are looking like they are the really chatty, crazy person, we don't say, what does it mean about me that this person got on my bus? I don't understand why they keep getting on my bus. We just know they're on the bus, they're going to get off of the bus at some point, And we don't make it mean anything about ourselves. Now, if we take this real life situation over into a metaphor for our thoughts and feelings, what we innocently tend to do and particularly if we have certain emotions that we are hypervigilant for. So if we're hypervigilant for anxiety or we're hypervigilant for when anger shows up or boredom or frustration or jealousy or greed or whatever it is, we've all tend to have an emotion or two that we're not very comfortable feeling. And when we feel that emotion, so when that emotion, when that passenger with that emotion gets on our bus, we innocently turn our attention towards it and start really focusing on it. They might sit down next to us and we start, we turn our attention straight to them and say, why are you on my bus again? I can't believe you're on my bus again. What does it mean about you're on my bus? And we also might start listening to what that passenger is telling us. So if it's something, you know, anxiety provoking, oh, you shouldn't go to that party in case nobody talks to you. Or what about that work presentation? You might stuff it up and then lose your job and then you'll be homeless. 
or if the angry person is telling you oh they really shouldn't have treated you that way you've really got to you know pay attention to me you've got to get back at them da, da, da. whatever it is that it's trying to say we innocently turn our attention towards it and then inevitably once we've turned our attention towards it we also then start to make it mean something about us. Why is this on my bus? Why has this passenger got on my bus? What does it mean about me that I'm not over this anxiety or over this anger or over this jealousy? Why does this passenger just keep getting on my bus? And then we get stuck in suffering with our emotions. So what if there's another way? So the way that, so I used to definitely feel like this about my emotions, particularly anxiety and worry. Whenever it showed up, I was really hypervigilant for it, trying to fix it, trying to not feel it, trying to do anything, but just let it be there. And so the other way that we can experience this is what if any emotion that just I'm feeling that flows through us, what if it is as impersonal as the passengers that get on a real life bus? nothing to do with us just showing up and what we can know also about those emotions and feelings is that like real life passengers they will eventually the emotions and feelings will also eventually get off of the bus it's how the human design is built we are built for emotions and feelings and thoughts to flow in and then flow away but sometimes innocently when we start to really pay attention to what that anxious thought and feeling is or the worried or the angry whatever it is when we start to really pay attention to it and then resist it by what does it mean about me that it's here again it kind of makes all of it stick a bit longer the passenger stays on the bus a bit longer than really it needs to so what if we can know or start to look and see if this is true for ourselves we don't have any control which passengers get on our bus I really, really see that to be true. I don't choose when anxiety shows up. I don't choose when anger shows up. I don't choose when love shows up. I don't choose when joy shows up. This is constantly flowing. And the passenger is just coming onto the bus. It's there to be felt. It's not to be ignored. It's not to be pushed away. It's just there to be felt. But we don't have to engage in it with a big story about what it means about us. And we can just let the passenger be there. And we might gently look out of the window while it's doing its chatting. And then we can know that eventually the passenger is just going to get off of the bus and move on. And then another passenger will get on the bus and it will be with our experience and then it will move off again. So what I'm trying to point to in this metaphor, just to sum up, is that we don't get to choose which thoughts and feelings show up on our bus. We don't need to resist or deny those feelings because they don't mean anything about us about how we're doing in life about what sort of person we are about how evolved we are about how conscious we are about how good enough we are the presence or absence of, the, of any emotion doesn't mean anything about us in the way that we think it does so just like passengers getting on and off of the bus it's totally neutral and that the human design is absolutely, it's guaranteed to flow. So we don't have to do anything to get the passengers on the bus or off the bus. They are, that's going to happen whether we want it to or not. Because, you know, we like to hold on to happiness and joy and love and we can't even hold on to those emotions. They get on or off of our bus as well. So next time, if you're caught up in something that's feeling like suffering and feeling like pain really painful and you notice that your mind is telling a story about what it means about you that this emotion is here and how you really have to pay attention to it and look at it just see if you can gently and metaphorically allow the feeling to be there by just looking out the window knowing that it doesn't mean anything about you it's just passing through your experience let the feeling be there feel the feeling it's not going to kill you and then just notice it passing on through as well so I hope this is a helpful metaphor because I, I certainly learn in a visual way and it can be really helpful to have something that you can visualise if you're stuck in something that's quite painful emotionally and just see what you can notice about this. See if it becomes a, a helpful way to think about your um, and, and experience your emotions, you know, because they're coming and going all of the time and they're absolutely safe. So if you have enjoyed this video, please do share it with someone who you think might enjoy it too. It really helps me to reach more people if you like the video and also subscribe to my channel. And if you would really love to find some emotional freedom, then please do check out my one-to-one -one coaching programs, Break Up With Anxiety, Break Up With Addiction. 
and also change catalyst. So got lots on offer and I would uh, love you to check it out. Thank you so much for watching this far. I really appreciate you being here. Lots of love. Bye.